Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, why is the camera moving? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to succeed in interviews, how to get a job at the bank, my experience working in several different banks, and just general information about your career. So if you enjoy my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. I will make sure I answer each one of your comments if I can. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. This video has been a long awaited video. A lot of people have been asking me, where do I work now? And in my previous video, I talked a little bit about working at a call center in the bank, like as a financial advisor, but in the call center side. And I've, I've been wanting to make a video about this for so long, but I kind of wanted to stick around for like a few months just so I really get a grasp of how it is working in that environment. And then I can give you guys proper advice on how it really was. So to start, um, I was working in a call center as an investment representative. And basically what my role was, was to be on call. And I didn't expect this. I didn't expect it to be back to back calls because I have never personally worked in a call center before. And I came from the branch where I saw people like, I talked to different people for like 10 minutes at a time and then I had a lot of free time giving financial advice and it was just all chill but there were still some pros and cons which I have other videos on if you guys are interested in how it is working in the branch you can check out my other videos but for this specific video I wanted to talk about my experience working in a call center environment so guys basically I went into this role mostly because of the pay which I know is wrong but the amount that I was getting paid was a high was a big jump compared to my last position. So when I got an interview for this position, I never worked at a call center before. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to accept this position and hopefully it's not that bad. And I don't know, like how hard can it be? So guys, I decided to do this job and it was probably the worst decision I've ever made because ugh, this was like the most complicated and unexpected role I've ever experienced out of all the positions I've done in the bank. So working in a call center, you know, I expected it to be like, I'm giving financial advice. Obviously, I knew it was going to be by phone that people are going to call me and I'm going to give them financial advice. But I had no clue that this was a back to back, like a back to back calls kind of role. And the reason I took this long to make this video is because for the first six weeks, I had training and the training guys was amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting paid this much money to do nothing. Guys, the training, all we did was for six weeks, we watched videos. We had like live lectures of people teaching us how to use the system, how to use the tools, investments, different investment products. A recap for me since I already came from the branch, but it was just very chill. And I was like happy I accepted this position and the pay I was getting. As soon as the six weeks was done, guys, they put you on the floor. They put you on the calls, back to back calls. And it's just hectic guys it's mentally draining and there's some pros and cons i will tell you guys but for me there was a lot of cons and like basically not only was it back-to-back -back calls but it was also something that required a lot of compliance so let me tell you guys an example so every time you get a call you were expected to follow like a script you were expected to read the script line by line with every call so for example if somebody calls you and they're like I want to open an account you have to you can't just be like okay sure i'll help you open an account and go ahead and open the account no you got to you got to go step by step and tell them specific lines which can be so annoying for the client because they're just like why are you talking so much just open the account what how is, why is it so hard and the funny part is that opening the account takes two minutes but you still have to go through this whole script that you have to follow to be compliant and if you don't follow this list properly you will get something called a violation and basically you get an email and you they tell you that you failed this month's comp like compliance violation that you failed it and that you didn't say a specific word right and and you might think like oh like it might be easy just follow it and say the script properly but guys it, they are very very strict you gotta make sure you don't miss one word so in so let me give you guys an example. So if somebody calls, I was supposed to say like, hi, thank you for calling ABC Corporation investment line. How can I help you? So if by any chance somebody called and you said, 
thank you for calling ABC Corporation investment line? That's still a fail. You might wonder how because you just said the sa exact same thing. I didn't. You know what I missed? I missed the the part. So I said ABC Corporation investment line instead of ABC Corporation the investment line. Like that's how strict they were. It was just insane. So if you miss like one specific word, you get a fail for the month. And if you get a if you fail the first month, it's not like a big consequence. They don't really care. The second month, they start to you know be like, okay, like she needs to be compliant. The third month, after the third time, if you keep failing and failing, if you fail for the third time, that's when they will schedule you a meeting with the upper level management and they're going to like they're going to discuss your performance and why you're failing and eventually if you fail more than three times you'll just get fired so it was like so much pressure to make sure that you get every single word compliant and I, to make sure you get every single word correctly and not only that but you have to make sure you authenticate the client before you have to make sure that you 100 percent authenticate each and every single client there was the risk of fraud uh, if you guys have watched my previous video as a teller i told you guys that the job was very risky because there's a lot of fraud and stuff well this job had the same exact risk you got to make sure the client is who they say they are and sometimes somebody will call sound like a man but they claim to be this other profile which has a lady name and then you got to be very careful with those things so yeah one of the major things that i didn't like was the fact that i had to be like a robot reading a script every single time and like it wasn't just a short script um, sometimes when you open like an investment product that call can take up to 40 minutes to an hour and guys you gotta read a long script not a short one the script will be like an essay like you gotta be like i just wanted to let you know that you gotta we got to follow this and this on behalf of this corporation. We're offering you this and this product. And you have to say it each line, each single word. You can't miss it. And you got to say it correctly. Otherwise, it's a fail. So yeah, guys, that job was just so stressful. And after the training, I was just like, it was hard for me to wake up and like get on the call. Because I would imagine like all of those calls that I had to take back to back to back with no breaks. And I mean with very little breaks because we got like back-to-back -back calls and then you get a 15 minute break and then back to back to back calls and then you get your lunch hour and then you get your other last 15 minute break but it feels like forever like an eight hour shift or 7.5 hour shift feels like forever because you don't get a minute of break like i invest in stocks and i like to look in the stock market because all my money is in the stocks so in my old job, I had a lot of free time. So like I could just go on my stocks and like, you know, make sure I sell it before the market drops and stuff like that. But in this job, I could not touch my phone, guys. Like I can't answer anyone because how am I supposed to use my phone when the calls are literally back to back? So the reason I got into this job was I thought that even though it's a call center, but since it's an investment representative, I don't need to talk to so many clients or that i don't need to take so many calls because i'm providing investment advice so how many people want to buy investments or sell investments i thought that there would be barely any calls because i know that if there's because i know like customer service lines obviously everyone wants to call because there's so many issues that they have to resolve but with investments i was like nobody's gonna call because not a lot of people want to buy investments right but it's not just that people call to sell their investments people call to complain people call to yell and be like why did you put my money into this or i went to the branch and this advisor did this why did they do this i didn't want it so it's not even like you're making sales but you're just dealing with the bad part of it which is just like selling it and handling all those complaints but yeah this video is getting a little bit long but i think i'm gonna make a part two where i explain to you guys more in depth about the pros and cons this video was more about the bad side of it i can tell you guys a little bit about some of the stuff i did like but but in my opinion there's a lot of things i disliked compared to the things that i did like which i will make another video on that but yeah guys um overall that job was not for me i worked there for eight months and i just hated every day <laughs> And I'm so, so glad I am not in that role anymore. And you guys might be thinking, why am I changing so many roles in the bank? Why am I doing different positions? 
Well, when you're young, it's good to discover all these positions and see which one you like the best. And that's what I like to do. Um, I want to find a role that I love a lot. I want to find a role that I'm passionate about, a role that makes me happy, you know? So it's good to explore. If there's something you don't like, don't stay. If there's a job that you don't like, don't stick there just for the money. Don't stick there just for a promotion. If you don't feel passionate about the job, leave and find another job because guys, there's so many jobs out there and I have another video on how to find a job and I'll be making more videos to guide you guys. So make sure you keep watching this channel and subscribe. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching.